we will look at automating the rounding bottom and top patterns. Rounding bottoms and tops are types of reversal chart patterns. Reversal chart patterns signal that the ongoing trend is about to change course. When a reversal chart pattern forms during an uptrend, it signals that the trend will buck and the price will decrease soon. Conversely, when a reversal chart pattern appears during a downtrend, it signals that the trend will reverse and the price will increase soon. Here is a sample of rounding bottom patterns produced by the code that we will explain later in the video. As you can see, the code does a reasonable job of finding rounding bottoms. But it's not perfect. Next, we will discuss rounding bottoms and tops before we look at the final code. The rounding bottom is a reversal chart pattern that gives traders an indication of a market reversal where sentiment is moving from bearish to bullish. The chart pattern has a U shape. On the left hand, you can see the rounding bottom. In a rounding bottom scenario, there is an initial decline in price as the number of sellers outstrips buyers. But once a bottom price is attained from the selling, buyers start to outstrip the sellers. The price then starts to increase. A rounding top will indicate a market reversal where the sentiment is moving from bullish to bearish. It will appear as an inverted U shape. In a rounding top scenario, there is an initial increase in price as the number of buyers is larger than sellers. But once the price arrives at the top from the buying, sellers will start to outstrip the buyers. The price will begin to decrease. It's time to look at the code. First, please note that all resources that were useful in creating this code are in the description below. And second, the link to the code is also available in the description below. We first import the MPL Finance Library to plot our candlestick graphs. From the SIP library, we import this function which will be used to find the maximus and minimus. We import matplotlib to save the graphs, while the pandas library is for data manipulation. This is the function used to find the rounding bottom patterns. It takes as input the OHLC data and the number of periods to look back. We loop over all the bars in our data. For the given bar, we define the coordinates of the maximus and minimus as numpy arrays. In the next section, we find the minimus and maximus for a given bar. Note that the range starts with a certain number of candle bars before the current bar. The minimus and maximus must meet this condition before we can consider a point as a potential rounding bottom point candidate. We fit a nonlinear function to the minimus and check if the parameters meet the conditions of a U-shaped graph. The first condition is that the first derivative of the nonlinear function must be negative. The second condition is that the second derivative must be positive. This condition helps us to limit the number of patterns found. The parameters can be changed. We base these values on one of the results we found. Here is the final code we run to get the rounding bottom patterns. We read the data and remove all non-trading periods. We set up a new column called pivot to hold all pivot points. We use this function from SIPI to get the minimus and maximus. We run the last section to get the round bottom patterns and the associated graphs. In the end, we have a folder filled with images of patterns like this. Here is a sample of the results we found. You can download the code from the link in the description below. We hope you found the video useful. We would like to hear from you, so please leave your comments below. Thank you for watching.